All right, welcome back. Jamie and John here with a single bottle bourbon review. And I'll tell you my Penelope story. So mm -hmm. I guess we'll let the cat out of the bag. Of course, you can see it. But we're, we're tasting today a Penelope straight bourbon whiskey barrel strength. Let me give you some facts about this, at least from what I can tell, what I found on the interwebs. Um, so Penelope, I know it's MGP. Some people have a love hate relationship. Yeah, I don't care if it tastes good. I don't, yeah, I, don't I, I really don't get too bit out of shape mm -hmm. about that. Uh, but anyway, um, Nashville. So this is a, apparently a, according to Penelope's website, this is, uh, a blend from three bourbon mash bills, aged and new American oak barrels and completely uncut, non chill filter, blah, blah, blah. Um, it does say the mash bill is 74 corn, 16, uh, wheat, seven rye, three percent malted barley so i think this could classify as a weeder Good. right yeah whatever semantics um my penelope story so we were down in bardstown a few months ago and i i I'd watched a lot of reviews on penelope okay. everyone i've seen that has done reviews on penelope seems to like it Maybe, yeah but i can't I, it's hard at least until around recently here. it's been pretty hard to find mm -hmm. uh, around here where we live and we were down in, at the Talbot Inn or whatever, the, yep. that famous place down in Barstown. And, you know, they got the wall of whiskeys and bourbons. Oh, right. And it's like, yeah. you like, start to drool. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, if, 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 like I, it's what I hope heaven's kind of like, you know. Yeah. Sit up to the bar and then Barstown and pour me one. But I saw they had Penelope Architect, which you probably can see it there. The blue, blue label. Blue label. Um, that's currently my favorite whiskey. It, it's good. Um so I saw this one. I'm like, okay, I like high proof. I like barrel strength. Let's try it. Um, so uh, that's my Penelope story. And then Paragon uh, Liquor Store, one of uh, these yeah. this little mom and pop store down the road, uh, kind of a little honey hole. Uh, it's it's one of my up. favorites, Bobble Link, and there is like I I kind of go back yeah. and forth. Those are great places to go. But they had Penelope Architect, and I bought everything they had, which was two which, bottles, which I really drink. appreciate. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pour some in a sample before you leave, and you can take it with you. It's fine. So this is the uh, again, this is the straight bourbon whiskey barrel strength. Um, well, I don't know. We know what it is, yeah. so let's, let's dive first in. It's the first time I've tried it too. So, um, and I guess uh, Penelope was recently acquired by MGP. So I don't, I haven't delved into all the details there, but you know, that tells me MGP is getting into the the marketing and branding side of things, not just being a uh, manufacturer of, of juice that goes in there. It's going to make things interesting. I it think. will make things interesting. There's a lot of interesting things happening in, yeah. in the whiskey world right now um, that are intriguing. So we'll see. Ooh, that's strong. The ethanol hits my nose. Really. It, 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 it almost has like a rubbing alcohol it does. at first, which... I mean, you can tell. I mean, it's. I know, but something cuts in there. I can't hardly get anything else on the nose. So I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Now that drinks more like what you'd expect from a higher. Yeah. It does. Uh, yeah. The, that the drink, the taste. Yeah. The nose. Everything says I'm high proof. That's right. It does. I don't hate it. This is one that I think um, I don't. Depends on the night. Depends on the mood. But um, typically, I prefer mm. to drink something neat. But there are occasions where I might drop an ice cube or two in there. Yeah. And this is one. I it think, wouldn't hurt it. I, don't I think. think I would put an ice cube or two in this yeah. if I had a pour, because um, it is pretty hot. Uh, it definitely is, is punching its weight class in proof. For I sure. would say it would be really good in a fall night, early winter. Oh, out by the fire? Out by the fire. Oh, yeah. I mean, a little bit of chill in the air. Chill. You, you've still got shorts and flip-flops on because you're not ready for summer to Just be over. That. But it's a little bit colder for shorts and flip-flops. Yeah. You, get, you get some of this. I am kind of sad about this one. It's not what you thought, is it? That's not what I thought. I mean, I, I love, and I think it's because I like the the Penelope Architect so much. I was hoping that this would be the same as this. I don't remember what I paid, and honestly, I don't know if this is a good thing or Maybe bad thing. But I was kind of surprised that it was on the shelf because I don't remember where I got it. This one, yeah. 
I might have got it at the same time. I don't know. I'm Penelope bottles. The architects, if I remember, are not crazy. They're sixty-ish. Okay. I'm guessing because it's a single barrel, it's probably a little bit more than that. Probably pushing seventy or so, yeah. maybe a little bit more. That's a guess. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, I don't think they're gonna drink this all this. night. No, God no. I, I mean, this is uh. Maybe the end, end of night or the first of the night. I mean, if you're going to have a one one deal, one pour, one pour, and you're going to move on, and then you're moving to something yeah. that you can tolerate. <clears throat> you're right. I mean, it, it is hot. Um, this is not a bourbon for beginners. Uh, bur- no. If, if this is your first cigar, taste, cigar, I taste cigar. Yeah, there, tobacco. There's a tobacco taste to it. Yeah, you don't you don't start with this one. Uh, and if this is this is if if you don't like bourbon or never had it, don't this start in, with this. In for you. Yeah. I don't like it, man. I wanted to like it, and I like. I've been enjoying a, a good cigar with my bourbon lately. I, I don't know if you're into all that, but there's a tobacco taste. Maybe on the third sip it gets better. No. Is no. no. I mean, it's I don't a, like it. There's no fruit to it. There's no, no sweetness to it. There's it's just no, heat and it's just al- heat. It's heat and alcohol. No, it's like <laughs> there's just heat. There's like uh, no flavor. There's not. <sighs> Damn it. Um, Damn it's, it. not. it's not. There's no. Now, there's no flavor. You, you can't go wrong with that architect. Okay. In, in fact, I'm I'm gonna go a little off script here. I'm just I'm gonna. Okay. I've already tainted your brain with my opinion on something here, so you know, bear with me. Yeah, do a little bit of. God, that hurts my mouth right now. Um, and I'm not going to pour you a ton. Just enough to get a gist of it. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. But this bottle, a night and day. And look at what they do on that in the back of that label. And they no, tell you the whole cool. thing. So they tell you a decent amount of information, which I'm kind of surprised of from, from being MGP. That is a very pleasant night. Oh, I've already biased you, so <clears> bear with me. Jamie will give me, he will not let my bias skew his mm-hmm. opinion. If he thinks it sucks, he'll tell me it sucks. But man, my chest hurts now from this stuff. Man. Well, if you're having a heart attack, I'm not going to give you mouth. No, pass. no, I, no heart attacks. Just, yeah. There is spices in it. Oh, this is odd. And this is odd because I've never tasted anything, smell anything like this. Yeah. It's almost like Italian spices. All right, I mean. Oh yeah, like oregano. Yes, fuck, freaking a. Yes. I mean, that's I, I, I love Italian food, so I, it's a. I never even noticed the oregano before until you just said that, but immediately it's right there. Yeah, it's delicious. That's so good. I mean, if you're comparing these it's two, so it's good. not even ballpark. Yeah, it's not even close. Um, and this is only four years old. Mm-hmm. They done a good job on that. They did a real good job. I'm guessing it's probably a blend too. It probably even says here. I should have worn glasses, yeah. but uh, I mean, I guess since I brought it out, Penelope Architect, 104 proof. Um, I don't know that. Uh, they uh, really didn't even, get any drink that hot. No, but I would it, say you could, this is one that is just smooth. One of my one of my favorites, you know, is the Wild Turkey 101. Yeah, which is one 101 proof. Yeah, drinks a lot hotter than this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so the, yeah, for for a 104. Yeah, it's good. Much better. I mean, it's uh, if you're comparing these, there's no comparison. Yeah. Well, all this right. Is... So Penelope, ditch this, make more of this. That's my opinion. Or MGP, I guess. Yeah. Make, make more of this. But anyway, any parting thoughts on our dive down Penelope Lane? <laughs> uh, no, you're right. The architect is uh, definitely uh, worth uh, whatever you pay. Yeah. It's, it's worth 60, 60 bucks. bucks. I mean, it, it, there's a ton of stuff in that 60 buck price range. That's all like. Yeah. I've had some that are dogs, but there's a lot of really good stuff at that yeah. price point. Um, th- this one's too much. Whatever, I don't remember what I paid, but I'm sure it's too much. I don't like it. I'm not buying it again. I would say it's seven seventy-five bucks Probably. at a minimum. Probably. If this was so, it's too bad. But anyway, yeah. um, there you have it. So we don't like everything we taste. No, we do not. All right. Any other thoughts before? No. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll talk to y'all soon.